CPAP side effects and how to prevent or minimize. There are a few common side effects to using CPAP. Dry nose or throat, eye irritation, skin irritation or red marks, upset stomach or bloating, air swallowing, claustrophobia, infection, or chest burning. The good news is that in most cases there are simple things you can do to eliminate and avoid these annoying side effects. Getting a good fit on your mask is important. A mask that is too tight irritates the skin and leaves red marks. When a mask is too loose, the machine increases the amount of flow to compensate, and this can cause air swallowing and upset stomach bloating. Eye irritation is the result of air blowing through the edges of the mask because the mask is not properly adjusted or fitted correctly. There are things you can do to fix these problems. Use a size guide. Do not assume if it is leaking that it is too big. Sometimes it's too small. Consider a different style of mask that better matches your facial features. Clean your equipment to keep it fitting well and keep you healthy. Wash your face before bed. Replace your cushion and headgear on a regular schedule to keep them fitting and sealing correctly. And consider chin straps or cushion liners to optimize the fit and or to protect the skin. Use a humidifier. Use a heated humidifier with heated circuit if humidification alone is not enough. Upset stomach or bloating is often caused by air swallowing, which is called aerophagia. Air swallowing occurs when air from the CPAP machine goes into the esophagus. It is more likely when the pressures are high. If the mask does not seal well, the machine increases flow to compensate, and that can lead to air swallowing and stomach discomfort. Use the ramp feature while falling asleep to keep pressures and flow lower during this period where you likely do not have any airway obstruction yet. Ask your doctor about using an AutoPAP machine. AutoPAP prevents higher than necessary pressures throughout rest. If you've recently lost weight, you may simply need less pressure, and you should ask your physician about a repeat sleep study. Lying flat or just trying a different sleeping position also often helps reduce air swallowing. For headaches and sinus or ear pressure, ask your doctor about sinus medications. For claustrophobia, look for a minimalist hybrid style mask that does not have anything that comes between your eyes. Over the mouth, under the nose masks are good choices. Nasal pillows are a good option as well. For infection, clean your mask every day. Use only sterile or distilled water in the humidifier. Clean the humidifier chamber daily and use fresh water each night. Do not share your CPAP equipment with others. Put a filter between the air outlet and the CPAP tubing. And clean and replace the filters on your CPAP machine at the intervals recommended by the device manufacturer.